Hey guys, today we're taking a look at my updated Air Neos OTK deck. Probably the best way to run Neospacians, just focusing on Air Neos, who has a pretty crazy effect that allows you to do really big damage. And I'm just going to get into the cards and just talk about how it works. So we're going to be running three Neos. Um, three Neos because that's what you need to make um, Air Neos, obviously. Two Bubble Man and two Neos Alias. So Neos Alias obviously can become Neos, so we can do that sort of thing with him. But we also have Bubble Man, and additionally between these elemental heroes, we have some other plays we can make, so they're very nice cards to have. And then three, Prisma. Prisma is a very big key card of the deck, um, allowing us to bring out Air Neos and send things to the graveyard and make additional plays, which is very, very nice. Three, uh, Hummingbird, again, we need that to make Air Neos, very important. Three, a Hero Lives. A Hero Lives is really great for this deck type. Um, you know, you do that, cut your life points, bring out Prisma, um, activate its effect, so we can bring out Air Neos and have low life points, which is important for the deck type. So a really, really important card for this deck. And then we have one Convert Contact. You could run one or more, depending on how many um, Neospacians you're running. So I do like to have one of this in the, in the deck to give it some draw power and get a Hummingbird to the graveyard. One Dark Hole. I think cards like Dark Hole are very important to set up the OTK, so you really don't have to worry about as much. So I think it's a very nice card to have. Uh, three Emergency Call, just to help us with the consistency of the deck a little bit. Two Megamorph um, with Air Neos has a really powerful ability. Air Neos can sometimes, you know, not quite get you to an OTK, so Megamorph will almost ensure that you get to the OTK when you need to, so nice to have that. Three Miracle Contact, just allowing us to get out Air Neos um, from, you know, where our materials, regardless of where they are, very, very nice. Three Miracle Fusion, allowing us to make additional plays outside of Air Neos. We can get out um, those fusions, which are very powerful, which is definitely nice. And we can set this up in addition to Air Neos, which is, again, very strong. Two MST, dealing with back row will be very important for this deck type. Uh, Regeki, just like Dark Hole, we want to set up the OTK as easily as possible. Soul Charge, a very nice card for this deck to bring out what we need to lower our life points and set things up. Obviously, it can be problematic because we can't attack, but I still think it could be very nice to have a card like this and just to lower our life points to set up things. Um, the life point cost just helps us out. Three Upstart Goblin, that 1,000 life points means nothing to us, so it's pretty much a free card in this deck to set up what we want. Three Traps done, again, back row is the main issue to deal with with this deck, and it's just very important that we have Traps done. You want to run Traps done over, over Royal Decree because you're going in for one attack at once, so Traps done makes more sense. And one Wall of reveal, Revealing Light, again, you can use this card to cut down whatever life points you want to set up the OTK very, very quickly, so a very nice card um, for this deck type. So now for the extra deck, two Absolute Zero can be nice to have, obviously. Three Aaron Neos. You only really need two, but it's nice to have a third one in case. He gains the difference in life points um, in, in addition to his attack. So that kind of sets up the OTK there. As long as you're really low in life points, you can get him to 8, 9, 10,000 attack very easily. And additionally with Megamorph, you can get him to 12, 13, 14,000 attack. So very crazy. Uh, one Great Tornado with Air Helmingbird gives us another option. Two of the Shining, a nice hero to have access to. For the XYZ, one Blade Armor Ninja, Castell, Exiton, um, Excalibur, uh, Lavalo Chain can help us with this deck type, Silent Honor, and Star Liege with um, some of our lights. So that those are just some things you can do. XYZs are not the big deal behind this deck, but it's additional play you have access to, which is very, very nice. You know, like you can set up Exiton to clear the field, and then maybe next turn do the Air Neos OTK and things like that. So there are a lot of um, interesting things you could do there. So I like having access to different XYZs. So now for the side deck, if you haven't seen a video of mine before, in the side deck, I kind of just go through other recommended cards, other ideas that you could use for this deck, other things that I've seen around, not meant to be a side deck for matches. I just want people to have access to, you know, all the ideas that people are using to build with this deck. So Battle Fader, um, additionally, you can set up your life points nice with a card like this. Um, effect Veiler could deal with effects, not a really big deal with this deck, but it can be useful. Gores, you really don't run much back row, so cards like Gores and Trigodia can be fine. Um, you can run Neospacian Grand Mole, you can run the other Neospacians, you could run run more Convert Contact that way. Swift Scarecrow like Battle Fader is very helpful. Um, Forbidden Lance, again, dealing with back row is nice. Gold Sark, Magical Mallet, helping you search out things. Magical Mallet I wouldn't really recommend. Um, Gold Sark probably could be good to search out one of the cards you need to make the OTK work. My Body as a Shield, you know, anything where you can pay life points is kind of a you know, bonus for you, so that's um, nice, and obviously can protect Air Neos when he's attacking, and then you can additionally have him gain life, gain attack points, which is really cool. One Day of Peace, again, to set up things. Pot of Duality, we do a lot of special summoning, but obviously Pot of Duality is very nice to get the cards you need for the OTK. 
Hope for Escape, another life point cost card that is really nice for you. Reckless Greed, again, like Upstart, can be very helpful. Solemn Morning, again, we don't really run much in terms of back row, but Solemn Morning, paying those life point costs is fine for us. And there are other XYZs you could run, like Omega. Um, I just really didn't have room for him, but, you know, whatever XYZs you run, you can you know, obviously run them, especially ones that, you know, if you want to pay life points to use their effects or something like that. So that's my Air Neos OTK deck, again, just focusing on bringing out Air Neos, but also supporting it with some other hero stuff so it has additional power. Um, a very silly deck type. It can be annoying to win with this deck when your opponent knows the strategy, but when they don't know what you're doing, it could be very powerful because they think you're on the brink of losing, and all of a sudden you bring out traps done like a 12,000 attack monster. So it can be very fun to play. Um, again, one of the stronger ways to run Neospatians because they're not that strong in general, but it is a pretty um, weird, silly deck type that does have some you know interesting plays that does have access to but if you guys have your own air neos decks um definitely post below let me know in the comments talk about what cards you try to run in your deck maybe there's some cards i didn't think about that could set up life points more easily or something like that you yeah, definitely let me know down below i'll definitely um update it you know as time goes on but that's about it for me thank you guys for watching i'll see you later 